Hello, this is Stealth Sid, and you're watching How Free Is It? Dirty Bomb. This isn't a gameplay review. This is a review of exactly how free the game Dirty Bomb is. How do they monetize? Where are you going to end up spending your money? So let's break down the, the principal elements of the economy. Uh, there are these four things here. Mercs, loadouts, cases, and boosters. Mercs are the characters you get to play. You get two for free. Aura and Skyhammer, uh, or as a healer and Skyhammer is your FPS guy. There are three rotating characters, and of course you can purchase any of them. They range in price from 30,000 credits or $6 to 50,000 credits and $5. Pretty standard fare there. Uh, so loadouts are the are what make this unique. So loadouts are cards you get from cases, which I'll cover in a little bit. Uh, and, or you can buy in loadouts, but they're your they're your equipment and your traits. So primary weapon, secondary weapon, and melee. Uh, one trait or three traits, depending on the level of loadout. And these are the ones you get for free. Uh, you can trade them up. Statistically, so you pick the character you want to trade them up for. Uh, so if I want to get make an iron card, I can take three lead cards for 500 credits trade and I'll get an iron card for my aura character which will have two traits or is the, uh, the higher level your card Hell, it ain't no game. Uh, the Serious bigger the business. transaction fee and the more cards you need to use and obviously you'll need to use higher rarity cards uh, the aura, overall in-game pricing on the these are not too bad done. Um, so back again more uh, so that's loadouts. Uh, cases, and we've got to go to the store for those because I don't have any. So cases, your primary means of getting more loadout cards. Uh, it's basically like a wheel spin. You open up a case, and you have an 80% chance of getting a lead card, 15% chance of getting iron, 3% chance of getting bronze, and silver gold, and so on and so forth here. Uh, you get one trait on lead, two on iron, three on bronze, and three traits for each of these. Uh, they're 1,000 credits each, which is really not too bad. Actually, you know what? Why don't I just buy one real quick? Uh, purchase that. There we go. I'm going to open it right now, and here's what happens. Go through. And not too bad. Iron. So oh, well, I get an iron card nice for proxy. One. Good for me. So elite cases just give you the elite three types of cards so you'll get three tiers guaranteed and the difference with these these level cards is that they have quote rarer bling uh, but no additional augment strength so anything you find in these you can find in the other cases or you can purchase in the store um, so I should be able to find uh, all sorts of loadouts there's 17,500 credits and three dollars and fifty cents so that's oh and then boosters that's the last thing you can buy you can double your credits um, for certain periods of time they do only run while you're playing the game which is kind of nice they're not like the you know I, I, I certainly prefer this model though I don't prefer the price um, I'll talk about earn rate of this game in just a little bit so those are the those are the main elements. So how does that inform? How does that help answer the question of how free is a game? Well, so I've broken this up into three sections. One is content gating. Content gating is what do you have to pay? What areas of the game do you have to pay in order to get? Uh, really, it's the boosters and the elite cases. That's it. Everything else can be purchased with in-game currency. Uh, so in the content gating uh, they get a big thumbs up I like it when you can buy nearly everything I'm okay with cosmetics being purchasable um, perfect world literally everything is purchased with in-game currency but we don't live in a perfect world it's okay so big thumbs up on content gating um, the next is the earn rate so great you can buy a lot of things with the currency how fast do you earn it uh, well you earn it reasonably fast I give them a thumbs up here uh, you get 
missions that you can complete to earn quite a bit of in-game currency and you get 500 credits for your first game of the day and 500 credits for your first win of the day so if you're playing daily you can pull in a few thousand pretty easily after you've finished your missions and your daily uh, allowance of a thousand it does kind of fall off uh, you know I played for 10 minutes and earned 139 credits um, you know it's that's not super but I have been only playing for like a week and I've earned 38,000 credits it's enough to buy a uh, Merc so you know again thumbs up pretty reasonable earn rate certainly shouldn't expect to be buying all the characters in your first couple weeks of play um, so thumbs up there uh, the final category is the cash pricing so just the overall cash pricing not I don't like the pricing here five dollars for a chance to get uh, a rare card just to me is just not enticing it's way overpriced they should be a buck a piece maybe you know or maybe even five for a buck for me maybe I'm cheap maybe maybe you disagree but uh, that's just how I feel the boosters I just see no value to this even if you're a person who's really pressed for time uh, because you can kind of buy everything in the game with with cash feels like uh, these seem just needlessly they're just need needless in general um, loadouts cash price I'm not I'm not loving the loadouts just only because if you're just doing this from a cash perspective you gotta buy the Merc and then the loadout so you're spending six to ten dollars on a Merc and then you're gonna spend 350 to get one loadout that you want I don't care for that the bundles are meh in my opinion uh, you can you can spend twenty dollars and get every loadout available for a character um, that's in my opinion that's not great right like you already spent six to ten dollars you're gonna spend another twenty dollars on a hero sorry Merc uh, the bundles are okay uh, you know they, they throw in two elite cases and that to me that's what makes makes the savings fifty percent again I don't care too much about the cosmetic stuff so really uh, twenty dollars for these characters it's not a huge saving so I'm not I'm not won over by their cash pricing it's just a bit much uh, but uh, so I, I, I give it a thumbs down uh, so overall so based on those three criteria content gating the earn rate and the cash pricing I still give it overall I give it a real big thumbs up uh, it's certainly worth trying uh, it's not a game review but I will say that uh, I enjoyed it uh, and I think you should certainly check it out and thanks everyone for watching